Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Ben Vereen was diagnosed with diabetes. He was just like anyone else. He had no idea what the next step in his life was going to be. We all know it had to be a debilitating disease. In a recent conversation with the legendary actor, he was good enough to share his words of wisdom and remind us that it doesn't have to be life-changing. The first thing is don't fight because when you fight, you put up a wall around you, Ben said. Dissolve in the process is what I found I had to do. As I was resisting, it became a challenge. It became a suffering and it became all of the things that people say that it is. However, when I accepted it for what it is and I got the tools that I needed and I was told to exercise more, I'd gotten my insulin and after accepting everything, it then became very easy. Exercising was easy because I'm a very active person. Ben continues to perform on the stage and screen, often with no breaks between productions. It's always been very much a passion for him and will continue to be. I started to exercise more. I changed my eating habits and I took my medicine. I didn't fight against it. I dissolved into it. It works and that's why I'm talking to people about this because it works, he said. The idea is to gather more recruits. We need a large army to get the word out there. When I was diagnosed, there were 3 million people with diabetes. There are now 26 million people with diabetes. It was in December of 2007 when Ben was first diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. It's not our fault, it's just that people are not informed enough to know what to do or how to talk to their doctors or what questions to ask. I didn't know myself, Ben said. I called Sanofi and told them I wanted to help to do something about this. We developed a movement and created a website called Take Control of Your Diabetes. What we ask people to do is to take a pledge and that to pledge is to yourself, he continued. Just something to put on the wall or wherever you need to put it to remind you to walk a little longer. Check your blood sugar and tell yourself that today you're going to do something to be conscious of your body, your temple, your sacred ground, and you're going to do something for, something good for it because it does well for you. There's been a lot of talk around low-carb lifestyle changes. In fact, many have stated that low-carb eating habits have reduced the need for insulin by as much as 50%. George Cruz heavily promotes this lifestyle in his book, The Belly Fat Cure. The question is, does it work? And if it does... Is it an easy thing to stick to? My response to that is every person is different. That's why they call us individuals. What's good for the goose isn't always good for the gander. Here's what I do. It's called moderation, said Ben. When a person is told that they have diabetes, they have no idea what to do. You start looking at the labels on everything in the grocery store. Everything is loaded with so much sugar. You start asking yourself, what am I going to eat? Moderation. You can have that cake. You just don't have to have the whole cake. Just have a small slice if it works for you, he said. Thanks for listening. Please like, comment and subscribe.